Good morning, cellists. It's a bright sunny morning this 11th of February 2021 and here we are on the 11th study from the Foyard set of 60. Um, today's study also looks at the bow in a sort of sense of swinging, going from one end and working here and coming back and working here. A little bit like we had in study number nine two days ago. Observe the difference. The first is fairly obvious that in this study number 11 we have um, a dotted rhythm. Whereas of course, turn the page, when we played the number 9 we had um, an even, equal rhythm. is more subtle so you might think that's fine I just go to the end of the bow but I go a snap rhythm instead of an equal one it's not quite exactly true have a look at the articulation so in study nine the two shorter notes are both staccato whereas in number 11 only the last has the staccato mark not the brutal kind of uh, hard-edged staccato that we were working on in number nine. If you look at the variations for this study, there is, uh, you can see that the tempo markings are different. So this is meant to be an andantino with that kind of articulation. Um, it also shows you a bow stroke where with no staccato, you could be staying on the string with a kind of Z bow shape, which we have discussed in last year's series. The Z bow is where you go along half a bow, back a small bow, and then the full bow. So the feeling of that is like creating a Z or Z shape. Um, so in this moderata version, on the string, string and looking at quite a different technique. I'm not going to show that one today because it comes in a later study quite well developed. Um, the, the second variant of this study, if you have a look, is staying around the middle of the bow, again with the final staccato, but this would be quite different. So as it's written, we were going to have the whole bow. <laughs> And if you were to play it at Allegro, um, only using much shorter bows somewhere in the middle. And you can see there's a little bit more lively, very light, and a little lift at the end. So that's the discussion about the bowing and the variants of the bowing. The study calls itself a rhythmic study, and sure, it's in compound time with this a snap dotted rhythm here. Um, um, nothing hugely to say about that. The key is nice and bright in D major. You'll notice at bar nine um, a slight difference to the bowing. Um, so the pattern here is so that we are travelling back on the ups and really focusing only on the down. Go fast down with a little snap at the end there. Uh, so that's something to look out for. It doesn't last for long. Just four or five bars. Right, so here we go, on the top. And there we have 
the study. Have a go at that and maybe have a go at the little Allegro version as well.